it's Mabel and today we are going to be reviewing all of my fidgets in my collection but before we get started don't forget to like and subscribe to become a sarcastic sister now let's get into it <laughs> Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go by drawers. So I think the first drawer we should start with is my fidget drawer. Um, I'll just go from like. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the poppet. So. So first up, I have this rainbow board game poppet. It's super nice. Um, I actually got this for Christmas. I think I see it on Amazon. Uh, I think it's like 15 to $16, but I can't be sure. Um, I'll put the price right here. Um, and yeah, I think I see it on, I haven't seen the rainbow color on Amazon, but um, I've definitely seen the pastel version. Uh, but yeah, next up I have this, uh, like, marbled poppet with pink and yellow, blue, green, kind of a mix of all that. Uh, I got this as a gift for my grandma and grandpa. I think you can find it at Target, and like I said, I'm not going to tell you guys all, the whole time, but the price will be shown right here. So yeah, uh, I really like this. It's a nice pop. Here, let's Very nice. Next up, I have this rainbow square poppet. It has like the letters on it. I found it at Target. This is when Target, you know, first started getting the poppets. Um, I believe it was around five dollars. Uh, but yeah. So, um, I wanted to say so bad that the price is right here. Um. But yeah, um, it's not best quality, but I mean, it was $5, so I definitely took it. I was a newer collector. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, yeah. Okay, so following along with that, we have this orange hexagon poppet I got in the exact same section. Um, and yeah, it's super nice. It sounds exactly the same. It's definitely a more different poppet, and I think it's around $5 too. Um, screen correct me if I'm wrong. Next up, I have this marbled poppet with white, uh, purple, and blue. Uh, I don't know uh, where to find this, um, but um, I just know my brother gave it to me, but the pop is so nice. I think uh, it's like the third fidget I've ever owned, which was really crazy to me. Um yeah but i think this is more cheaper on the cheaper side next up we have this rainbow boba poppet um i got the pastel version of this i traded it um with one of my friends um it's super nice i got it at cvs i don't know if i already said that um, I don't know the price, again, uh, but honestly, it was super nice at the time, especially for, like, CVS. I started, I think I started out with most of my fidgets from there. My first fidget was at Target. I traded that, though. But yeah, I really like it. Great quality. Next up, I have this pizza poppet. Um, I got it at five below, so it was obviously five dollars. Um, so yeah, um, it's really nice, and it doesn't have the miniature bubbles like most of them do. They're, they have. I'll show you. Um, this is my sister's poppet. It's not mine, but look at how tiny these bubbles are. So I was really happy to find this. Could use more detail, but I think it's really good and definitely worth it. I think it's one of my favorites. Okay, next up I have this watermelon poppet. I got this at the mall. 
Um, not very good pops. You can hear that. I just thought it was super cute and um, they were in containers and there's nothing you could use to pop to try it out. So, but I mean, it's cute and I can't complain. But yeah, again, if I can find the receipt, I will put the price up. I believe it was around like $7 uh, around there. I could be wrong. Okay, next up, I have this Pop It. I don't know if you would call this a dimple or not. Um, I'll have to make future me do some research on that, you know. Uh, but I got this at Five Below and I was super excited um, because it's just, I've always wanted one of these. Is there, like, there's not a lot of resistance on the harder coat, so the pop's not as nice, but here's the good side. Here's the bad side. Okay. Um, so yeah, I actually do like this, and of course, this was $5. Next up, we have this cactus poppet. My cousin actually gave this to me. It's really nice, and... Who's talking to you? My A L E X A. Right? Yeah. Um, keeps going off. So I don't know why. Um, so I've never seen a pop up with this much actual detail. Um, I think it's super pretty. Uh, I've asked so many people, like, can I trade this for you? But I just didn't really want to. And yeah, I I, I don't know the price right now, but um, thank you. It. it if I were to assume, I think it'd be around like seven, eight dollars. But yeah, super nice. Next up, this was a gift from my sister. I believe like um, my cousin gave it to her, uh, but she just said I could, you know, have it. And I thought that was super sweet of her. Um, but yeah, I think it's super nice. I think they come in packs, so I can't be certain how much it is, but, um, I would believe it's around $2, maybe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's cute. Next up, we have this square poppet. I believe it was around $5, dollars for 5 dollars Um, I got this at a random store, so if I can't come up with the price, I'm sorry, um, but it's super nice and I definitely love this. I have like a uh, lanyard I have to wear for school. So I definitely love just hooking this on it. And it has super good pops. Um, here, listen. So yeah, I really do love this. Next up, I have this unicorn poppet. Um, where did I get this? Oh, that's it. My brother ordered this Amazon pack and he wanted to give this to me as a gift for Christmas. It was so sweet. And he gave it to me a little bit early by telling me like a month before, but I thought it was super sweet. And I, this one's smaller, so it's easier to put on my uh, lanyard. So I definitely use this a lot, but I definitely do love this. This is good for an Amazon pop -it. Okay, now we're moving on to the second drawer. And we have a smooth entrance. Uh, I think first we'll start off with our pop tubes. Okay, so first I have this. I grabbed the three because they came in a pack. Uh, I got these from Five Below, so I believe they were $5. Um, but they have really nice pops. Not pops, so whatever. Really nice sounds. Um, and I just love the colors. Very cute. Um, and yeah, I just, I started off at like five below collecting pop tubes because like, I don't know why I just started off with pop tubes, but, um, they're really cool. Um, I do have a lot of pop tubes, so just be ready. Um, yeah, can't complain. Okay. So next up, yeah, we have these two poppets, this orange and not poppets, pop tubes. Uh, it's purple and orange. 
So I actually got these at Dollar Tree for $1. Such a steal. As soon as I saw these, I was freaking out. And they weren't in packs of one. They were in freaking packs of two. I was so freaking happy. I had to get it. I actually bought two packs. One for me and one for my sister. Um, But yeah, I am very happy with these. They're definitely beat up because like... This is like my second fidget toy I've ever had. So I definitely played with it like a lot. Um, yeah, they're super nice. Um, good quality for Dollar Tree. Definitely not for pop tubes in general. I would definitely pick my five below ones over it. Um, yeah. Okay, so next up I have this blue pop tube, which I'm assuming uh, is at Dollar Tree. I don't know. I traded with my friend and she uh, added this in. Um, so I don't, I'll definitely have to do my digging on this. I would assume it's a dollar because it looks very identical to the Dollar Tree pack. Um, but yeah. Sounds so much. These are really nice though because you can just pack them in fast and they're not as loud so yeah I definitely love those next up I have this this came in a pack of two but I was doing fidget hide and seek or whatever and I actually lost a couple and don't know where I hit them or anything so you know those are gone for now um yeah uh, I definitely do love this it's amazing I got this at Dollar Tree not Dollar Tree five below in a pack of three for, I believe it was $5, and yeah. Okay, next we have our Infinity Cube, so I'm going to start off with this one. Um, I honestly, I think I accidentally took this home when I went to my dad's. Um, I think this is my brother's. Um, so I did not pay for this. Um, I, I'm probably not going to go to my dad's for a while, so it's just going to be mine until then. But, um, I think I'm there, I don't know, I think spring break or Easter, I don't know. But I've been holding on to this. This was in an Amazon pack that my brother had ordered. So, yeah. Um, uh, it's, it's very loose. Uh, I was kind of like, ugh. But actually, since you can move it faster, it's really nice. To, to me, obviously, a lot of people would be like, no, ew, cheap, bleh. But I actually kind of like it. And yes, it's Amazon quality for fidgets, but it's all right in my book. Okay, next up, I have this white Infinity Cube. I got it CVS. Amazing quality. Could play with it for literally ever. I don't know how much I got it. I would have to assume $4, you know. I could either be off by a lot or actually on point with this. Um... Yeah, CVS at first had a lot of fidgets. They had jumbo fidgets. They were on point with them. So yeah, I definitely do love it. And you can definitely hear from this to this. It's not plasticky. It's actually good quality. This, I mean, not comparing to this, this is a little loose for Infinity Cube, but I actually do love it. Yeah. Okay, next up we have this green and black infinity cube. I got it five below for I believe five dollars. Um I really love this. It's not crappy quality at all. It's very nice, fatty noise. Um so yeah. Did you know you can push on this ball? I just figured that out. And then, I think that's it, yeah. Next, we're gonna do our dimples. So here we have this planet dimple. Um, I got this at five below for $5. This has to be $5. If not, I'd be shocked. Um, Uh, it's very loose, if you can hear it. Um, and the faces came rubbing off. It's not the most amazing quality, like, look-wise, but feeling-wise, it's, I love it. I mean, it's five below, what do you expect? And I was just happy when they had these, so, yeah. Yeah. 
Next up, I have uh, the shark dimple. Um, I got this in a pack with this penguin dimple. They're single dimples. Um, they're really nice. These are basically cheap, cheaper versions of the good quality ones. Um, I got these at Five Below. Five Below is where I got most of my fidgets, guys. Don't be surprised. Um, but yeah, um, I really do like these. They have to be $5. I'm pretty sure it's $5. Um, yeah, um, really nice overall, and I do like them. Okay, next I have this dimple. I actually do love it a lot. It's not on brand dimple, I don't believe. No, it can't be. Um, but I got this at the mall and I actually do really love this. I left my dimple at my dad's. Um, I, I have another dimple that I got at CVS, um, but we're not gonna count that in my collection at the moment. But yeah, definitely would recommend buying. Ding! I did not keep track of the price of any of these by the way, because, oh shoot, um, because, um, I don't know, they didn't have the price marked on anything, but it's fine, I'll have to look at my receipt later, um, I would assume this was around $8, I think, it said, Okay, last up in this drawer, I have this slime from Dope Slimes, it's Mango, the cloud slime it's very nice i'm not gonna open this upstairs in my room right now um maybe i'll show a clip at the end of me opening that and showing you guys kind of what it looks like but right now no i got this as a gift but um the price was 15 dollars. i got this for my birthday from my best friend um yeah it was from learning express so it was definitely expensive but yeah all right now we're doing the top drawer okay so what are we gonna start i'll start with the nightmare itself this banana pea pod i got from five below I think they had like a discount because like they had so many they couldn't like sell it but it's just horrible oh my gosh and here i was thinking you know this one will be fine whatever like i'd like it hate it i think it's a cute concept and i think this would be really good if it worked but so next up we have this pink marble mesh i got for i believe two dollars at learning express uh, it's very nice. Um, it has a cute little yellow marble. Yeah, I had a purple one, but lost it on my bus. So, yeah. Next up, regular Rubik's Cube. I don't even know why it's in my fidget area. Mm, yeah. I don't like, I don't think this should count as a fidget at all. Like, I guess it is fidgety, but like this is made for like solving things. And I just don't feel like it's a real fidget, but anyways, um, I'm fidgeting with it, like, right now as I'm talking about this. Um, I don't know the price of it right now, but all I know is I got it as, like, an Easter present or whatever. Okay, next up I have this like puzzle cube thing. It started out as a cube and you have to like try to make it back into cube form. I've only done it once and it wasn't even with mine. It was my brother's. I just saw it and I was like, yes, you can make it into a cube right now. Like, but I have not made it into, as I'm saying, I have not made it into a cube. It just goes into a freaking cube. This is my first time selling it. Oh my gosh. And you guys have seen it on camera. No fake. We're not fake on this channel. Wow, so easier storage. Yeah. Okay.
Okay, next up we have this uh, thing and it puts on like a bunch of different patterns here. It's super nice and yeah. Uh, it's definitely a good fidget. Don't know the price of that. Also, don't know the price of these. Again, you guys just saw it there. Um, I believe this was $5 because five below, most of their fidgets are $5 next this cupcake snapper five dollars at five below next this pineapple snapper five dollars at five below next this boba snapper five dollars from five below as you guys can see as you guys can see, I have a lot of, all my snappers are from Five Below. Uh, don't have a lot of snappers, but I'm okay with that because that's all I really need. Okay, let's bring out all six of my snakes. Oh my gosh. So, could be wrong with this. Yeah, I'm probably going to be wrong with this. But I believe I got these in a pack for $5. Next, I have these glow-in-the-dark ones. I believe I got in a pack for $5. I have this one that uh, I guess I found. I think it was one of my brother's fidgets. I don't know. I just got a handful of fidgets and was like, yeah, I'm going to put them in my bag. Um, didn't know if some of them were mine, but just kind of put them in. Um, but um, it's not like that. Let me tell you the full story. So... Like, I dumped out my whole bag of fidgets. Like, I brought half of my fidget collection um, to my dad's. And um, uh, we were all cleaning up. So, everybody's just putting the fidgets in the bag. And I guess some people didn't know what fidgets were mine and what fidgets weren't. And I didn't really use my fidgets for the rest of the time. So, I didn't see. And then I realized, like, half of my brother's things were in here. Um... So, I'm just going to wait till I can see him next, and I will return it. So, I don't know how much it was, but I guess I'll kind of divide from the Amazon pack and make my best estimate right here. Okay, next I have this snake. Um, again, don't know the price. I'm going to have to do my research. I think it's a Learning Express snake by the looks of it. Um... If they have snakes, it looks like Learning Express quality. Um, me and my friend did this as like a friendship thing. I don't know. Um, we switched one color of our snakes. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I have put them together before and it made such a big snake. I loved it. Um, so again, I think this is around the same price as, you know, two, a two pack of snakes, $5. So yeah. Next up, I have my monkey noodles. I got in a pack of six. Um, so we have different textures. We have two of each texture. So we have this like kind of, it's hard to see, bumpy like, like this line across. I have that in red and orange or like more pink and orange. But yeah, I got this with five below for $5 by the way. Next, um, we have a line going down, it's definitely a more smooth texture, and that is in yellow and green. Um, next, I have bumpy textures in blue and purple. These are probably my favorite. Yeah, they make a cute little rainbow. I really do love these. These are actually my first ever monkey noodles, and they are amazing quality for Five Below. But let me tell you, the problem was I went to always get them, but everybody had opened them, either stolen one, you know, taken it out and gotten it all dirty. So this was the only good pack that had not been opened. So I immediately, I was like, yes, snatched it. Next up, we have stress balls. I only have this on me right now. One popped, um, and then the two others are lost somewhere. Don't know. Um, but this was a four pack of globbles from Five Below. 
They could be stickier, but they were good quality anyways, and these were four or five dollars. Next up, I have this orange Nido. Um, so that banana one, actually, when I bought it, it came with the whole, because I bought the fruit Nido pack. I uh, don't know the price of that, but I think I paid a lot. Um, I think I paid around $12. Um, probably off on that, but um, yeah, it's super nice. Um, it came with strawberry and banana. The banana had a hole in it as soon as I got it. So brand new, of course, has a hole. And I got that at Learning Express, so I guess it could be just plain Learning Express quality or like the people that sent it had an error in that. Like, I don't know. But yeah. So, yeah, it's good quality. Um, The strawberry one, I don't know. I took to school and his face was never seen again. So, I'm sure some kid took it. Mm. I brought once all of my fidgets. I just loaded them in a massive bag and brought it to school. Most dangerous thing I've ever done. Everybody had one of my fidgets. I, I just put them all on me and my best friend Sam when we were playing with them. Everybody asked something. I don't know what that sound was. It sounded like my brother outside. Um. Anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, kids, school. Never bring your fidgets to school or a lot of them, and don't and keep track of them. One because just don't. Next up, I have this color change Nido. I always keep them in my box. Um, again, don't know the price. Um, super nice. Uh, yeah, I definitely do love it. It's very pretty. I just can't grasp my whole hand around it, so it, like, goes in between my fingers. It's a little weird, but, you know... I'll take it. Now I want to show you guys. I got this poppet ball at the mall. I believe it was $10.99. But oh my gosh. Amazing. This was the only one that was in flat. And I snatched it up. Again, don't know if I'm right right now. Correct answer will be on the screen. Right there. Right there. Just right there. Right there. Um... Yeah, so as you can tell, I've been, you know, <sighs> editing app. I definitely want to work on my editing and to challenge myself, I have been doing this. So yeah, if you're wondering, I'm sorry, I'm trying to do cool effects right here. If you're wondering why Ryan is not here, um, uh, she cannot be at my house all the time. Uh, she also has a cold, too. So, I was like, she was like, you know, I would make a video, but I'm sick. I'm like, don't worry about it. I got you. Um, yeah. So, I love this one. That is definitely my favorite one. I've been playing with it. And I've been playing with it a lot. And for the last one, it's at the top of here. Can you guess? It's, it's my mochis. So I actually got this as a gift. It's the Five Below Mochi Pack that comes with 18 mochis. Got the unicorns, the doe, these cute cats. Now, each one does come with two of itself. But, do you guys want to see my favorite? It's the little, like, seal on its belly. It's so cute. And then I have these two that are from um, Dollar Tree that come in a pack of two. Super big seal. And then my brother had gotten to the dinosaur pack. One thing I would recommend with these... Um, don't open all of them. They 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 are so sticky. I can't. They are horribly sticky. But yeah. 
Oh, and the bucket was $5, and like I said, the single ones were $1. But yeah, that is my collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to be a sarcastic sister. Um, you know, yeah. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.